Did you have any notion this was coming? Um, not really, no. I didn't really know what to expect, but, um, you know, it's uh, a huge honor and extremely proud to be a Leaf today, so it went well. So you were surprised when your name came in? A little bit, yeah. Um, obviously, growing up in Canada, I was, I, was, I was hoping I had a chance, but obviously to hear my name called is pretty special. Um, I don't know about that. You know, um, I've always been a player who, who has to prove myself, and um, you know, I'm not too concerned about all that right now. Um, but uh, you know, I don't think that had any impact on um, how I thought it was going to go. But um, y you're right. I mean, they do have a talented back end, and um, I'm happy I can add to it. How did that interview pre-draft go? I went well. Um, you know. Uh, um, just spoke for about 20 minutes at the combine and um, asked some questions about um, how I grew up and uh, you know who my childhood idols were and you know not too in depth or anything but um, you know it was it was good. Who were your childhood idols? I had a couple. You know I was always a huge hockey fan and um, pretty much anyone who's ever played on uh, either the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Vancouver Canucks. I've you know so. Um, you know, it's just a, a huge honor to have the have the blue and white on. Did they throw you any of those curveball questions during the interview? No, not the Leafs. They were pretty standard, which I appreciated. So, <laughs> for guys who have maybe haven't seen you play that much, I guess you're injured for most of the year. But uh, whose game might you remind you? Um, I would say a bit like Chris Letang, a uh, pretty smooth skater, uh, two-way defenseman, uh, can play the power play. Are you prepared for this? I mean, when you play in a place like Toronto, this is practice basically every time. Are you prepared to deal with guys like us every day? I think so. Yeah, no, uh, it's it's pretty sweet to be honest with all the cameras around. So, um, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not too worried about it. You know, uh, you know, growing up in Canada, there's always cameras around, and uh, you know, it's it's pretty cool. So, I don't think it'll be a a big problem anyway. What was your day like today? I mean, take us through how you felt. Uh, it was stressful to, uh, you know, I was um, kind of out and around this morning early. Uh, I went for about a bite to eat, sorry, with that, with my grandma, and then um, hung around. We did um, a, a, a kind of speech thing uh, with uh, a few people this morning, and um, and then we kind of had a few, a few hours to hang out, and, you know, it's been a long day, but it it's all worth it, so it was uh, it was. A, it was a pretty good day, for sure. Morgan, yesterday you said Howden and McElrath told you that you got to enjoy it because after tomorrow or in the next couple weeks, go back to being a nobody. Yeah. What's this been like for you, getting the jersey, walking up there? Yeah, it was, um, I don't know. I was nervous, and, uh, but, you know, it's, it's a huge honor, obviously, having that opportunity to have on a Leafs jersey, and, um, you know, it's been, uh, it's been pretty unreal, but, you know, I'm, Certainly prepared to head back home soon and, and start training and, and you know keep working hard. So, but it's been uh, a neat couple of days here in Pittsburgh. We've step seen a lot here. of young players step into the league. It's a young players league now. Do you think you're ready to play? I'm getting there. I think you know I I understand that I have some uh, some changes to make in my game and I have to have to grow a little bit and, and you know try to prove myself and try to crack the team. But um, you know, I'm going to train hard this off season, and um, you know, just keep trying to get better every day. No issues with the knee right now at all. No, none. Uh, you know, I played in playoffs, and it was great. So, haven't had any problems with it. How long have you thought that this was possible that you'd arrive at a day like this? <laughs> uh, well, I guess it's been a dream of mine since I was a kid. Uh, but you know, these past kind of two years, I've kind of said, "Wow, that'd be pretty sweet to be there." And uh, so, it's um, it's uh, it's pretty unreal. What, what kept you going through all the knee rehab and everything, Mark, in the whole winter? Um, I think it's always been an aspect of, uh, of who I am as a person. I've always trained hard. I've always been pretty driven. And, uh, you know, I think um, just kind of hearing people explain to me how I, I can't play in playoffs and how I can't play again in, the, in our year, I think that was kind of what drove me even more. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate all those people who, who were saying that I couldn't do it. But, um, you know, I'm... Pretty happy. I had the opportunity to play again in playoffs and uh, and to prove myself again. So.
what was it like to uh, be drafted right after one of your friends, uh, Ian Griffin? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, I'm ex- extremely happy for him, you know, having the opportunity to go uh, high in the draft. And uh, we, uh, we played together since, uh, you know, we were three years old. So it's, it's a pretty cool story. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we're all going to go ahead of him for some practice. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know about that, actually. Um, I was just happy for him, and you know, I was, I was gonna be happy either way. So you know, I'm pretty happy to be here with the blue and white on instead of any other thing. So you know, it's pretty nice. How did the injury happen? Uh, I got hit in the post. Uh, How did you get hit? Yeah. And then when that happened, you missed that much time. Were you thinking what's gonna happen on a day like today? Absolutely. I mean, um, it was a pretty long wait after I hurt my knee to now. It's been. Um, a long road with um, a lot of hard work and you know I had some times when I would question whether or not the draft is going to happen for me and um, I didn't really know what to expect and so I had to keep training hard and you know keep trying to get healthy. No never that was a uh, had never had to deal with that before so it was um, a, a totally new experience for me, and uh, it was a tough one. But I feel that um, I grew a bit as a person, and um, I I learned a lot about how to treat your body. And so, you know, I uh, appreciate all all the people who were helpful to me. And um, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Like I said, how long were you up? Um, from November 6th to April 20th. What are all your Vancouver friends? Oh, I don't know. Um, I think they'll be happy for me either way. But, um, you know, I'll certainly be happy to go home and in the blue and white and just kind of brag a little bit to them, maybe. <laughs> do, you, do you know any of the Leafs? Uh, like, um, I know uh, of them, certainly just from TV, but, you know, I didn't have the opportunity to play with any of them uh, as a kid or anything like that. But certainly, um, no, no. You're going to be looked upon to help turn this organization around. No playoffs since '04. You ready for that type of heat? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I think that's an aspect of of who I am as a person. As I told you, you know, um, I want that, um, and uh, you know, I think I can help this team. And, uh, and you know, but I'm just uh, a prospect right now, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to have the opportunity to um, help the team. But I'm not too worried about that right now, but certainly uh, it is an aspect of, of the game that I, I want to have, and um, hopefully I can help. I know you were worried about whether the injury would make you slide in the draft. Would you have ever thought, like, end of November, December, that number five was still in the works? Yeah, I wouldn't have. Uh, you know, if you had told me in, in October when I was healthy again that I'd be drafted to Toronto in the top five, I, I probably wouldn't have believed you. And, uh, you know, to have this experience has been unreal and um, you know it's hard to explain and uh, I'm just uh, extremely honored to be here and uh, you know it's been a pretty cool experience. Has the journey been better because of uh, I think so. There's Brian Burke. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah it's been great to to have him with me. He's been um, he's been huge. I mean we played together as kids and uh I've been chatting with him a little bit this week, and uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Were you guys staying at the same hotel? No, we weren't. Yeah, we uh, we've always grown up together, so uh, you know we would have sleepovers and and whatnot, so we know each other quite well. What the Boost Jaw Warriors meant for you in your development, playing in the WHL? What's all that meant to you? Oh, it's been uh, it's been huge. I mean, they're a great organization, and um, and they've and they've helped me my whole time there, and um, and and they've always been. Uh, courteous to me they've always helped me with anything I needed so uh, you know you can't really ask for too much more and uh, it's been a, a huge honor having that jersey on and uh, and you know uh, playing in that hockey town so it's been a lot of fun who do you thank on a day like today whether it's back home family friends teammates everyone I think uh, you know my my parents have obviously had a, a huge impact on me and uh, all the people that I train with uh, in twist uh, at the gym have been uh, have been huge as well and um, but you know there's whole lot of pieces to the puzzle and um, I don't know if I, I can name all of them here but uh, you know there's there's quite a few people back home that have been extremely helpful to me. This is a pretty big moment for you know Saskatchewan.
win, of course, with Shell Warriors and, you know, with Ryan Murray going second. Does that speak to the development in the province like with Notre Dame where Absolutely. I mean, that place is a hockey hotbed, and, you know, there's a whole lot of talent out there on the prairies, and, you know, um, I'm extremely proud to be aspect of that, and uh, I've spent um, quite a few years out there on the prairies playing for the Hounds, and uh, so it's been an, an, an awesome experience, and it's a great place to play hockey, and it's a great place to grow up. Who's your agent for? Uh, the Creative Arts Agent Chief, J.P. Barry. He's an ex-hound, yeah. He's he's all over the place there. So you know, it's uh, it's uh, pretty cool to be um, here now and having played for the Hounds and him having played for the Hounds. It's uh, it's pretty special.